I just got this in the mail. Tell me about it. It's called a D-Show Professional Hair Iron. It's actually a crimper. Right, let's see what it looks like. We so crimpers came out probably in the late 80s, early 90s. And they crimped the hair and made the hair look like it was braided. And since then, they've kind of evolved. Okay, oh. so what, what is the, comes in the box? Let's see. So in the box... Your main thing is your crimper, and most of them have a, a switch which you can slide and push to open it. So that, close that it. opens it up. So up. that opens it and then keeps it locked. So okay. this will That's open for storage it. is right. what you're saying. And this one has um, uh, heat settings. All right, so how does that work? Well, you plug it in and you hit your button, and your heat setting is, is here. Okay. So that's beside the point. And this one happens to come with um, detachable plates that come off. These plates here are what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tiny plates. These are usually used for adding texture to the hair. Um, so to change plates, these just come off and this slides open. Okay, so there's and then like... it came with, so this is one set. And then here's your little bag. Uh, oh, so it comes with extra plates. The other plates. Okay, so what is each plate? What does it mean? So here's your flat plate. That's for flat hair? <laughs> no. Am I missing one? Other oh, together? I think it's right there. It's right here. Is it upside down? Is it upside down? So here's your flat plate that would slide on it. All right, that's if you want, somebody wants to get rid of their curls. Get, that's, that's to do... Um, that's to do like a regular flat iron. So you slide this on here. All right, so how's it slide on? Are there grooves or something? What is that? You have a groove in the back and you have a groove in the front. So it obviously just slides on and down the groove well, that, you have, to, that you have to get it on. And I'm assuming it's like that. Oh, okay, this one didn't go in. So we got it. Let's, let's look at it. So on there's little grooves like this and, it's, and they're tapered. And so you can see that there's a little edge there. So when you slide it, you've got to get it right on those edges. Like, oh, that didn't do it. Now we get to pull it you back. You can usually right? feel if it's on. So right there, if you look from this end, you can see that the, thing, the teeth are slipped in there. So that's it. All right, so let's see, let me see the end of it. Okay, see how they slide in there? Just like that, okay. And then you would put your cover plate over it and that locks it in. Okay. So that's your flat iron plate, and you would do office obviously both on each side. So I notice on this, it's got teeth on either side. What is that? The teeth are nothing. They just hold. They just hold that plate in place. Really? There's nothing. No, this right here though. Ow. Oh. Ow. Oh, those teeth here actually it acts as a guide for the hair. When you close your blades, your hair goes through here, and it kind of oh. keeps it. Okay, I see. Separated. So which one are we going to use today? Um, this would be your regular crimping iron, probably from the old 80s, 90s. It has little triangles in it that actually make the hair exactly that shape, bump up and down. And then one that's a little more closed, and then this one. So these are more your, your textured ones. These are the ones you would use if you actually wanted a crimped look. So okay, today, so I'm going to use this one for textured hair to give it a little more texture to use in a styling. I'm sliding that on. I'm sliding this on. Okay, and then so also what comes with it is your heat glove. You have to keep it from burning yourself? Keep you from burning your hand because usually the hair is hot in the and the and the tool is hot. Oh, it, not, none of this is hot. This is what this is for. And this is the directions. That comes in there too. Yep. All right, and you got the bag to fit all so those in. So these are your sets, your extra sets with your bag, your glove, and your whole thing. Okay, so now how do you how do you start it? Now we'll plug it in. It's got two of those on there. All right, so we gotta plug it in. 
Do you have a plug open? I do, and you can slide those. I just have this one open. And that's that. That's okay, all. now how do we turn it on? Now we turn it on with this little button at but, the top. All right, so you press Usually that. Usually you hold it down. Oh, so does it change when you press it down? You can actually... So you make it you hotter? It, it goes hotter. And then if you press it again, does it go off? And it should go off. So right, if you so press you it the one. first time is your lowest So you get thing. one, two, three, four, five this seconds. This one happens to be in Celsius, so you have to understand the conversion it. <laughs> from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Usually, so all, the way up, to, to usually all the way up is 450. This is probably 400. That's probably 350, something around there. All right, how hot are you going to make it today? Um, for the mannequin head, I'm probably going to, I'm going to see what it does here. So you'd have to look up, see what that is. So we're going to start there. I think it's 300. I'm okay, sure. so here's our victim right here. So what are you going to do? How long does it wait. take to heat up? Usually it's a few minutes. So what do you do? You just like, Can you just set it I'm down? I'm actually going to keep it closed to keep some of the heat in a little bit. So I close it down a little just to let it. All right, so we're just going to leave it there for what? A, what how many minutes? A couple minutes. Okay, so now you're going to get that mannequin ready. And when I'm doing texture, so I don't want the crimping to show on the top, I'm actually going to do it from underneath. So I'm going to take a section, probably about an inch away from the part and the top part, and I'm going to be doing underneath this section. So I'm going to be doing this section right here. All right, so that is the section you're going to use. Sections. And also, if I was doing this on a real person, I would keep away the face frame, so I wouldn't do anything that's going to show right around the face. So I would keep this out mm -hmm. and just do behind here. So, so this, this part... This is what would fall naturally over, kind of like this part would fall over. So you don't see what I'm doing. So you're going to take it and you're going to comb it out. And we'll un. Do our Think that thing. thing's ready to go. I have no idea. We can see, and all you do is go on, and you're going to squeeze that. How long do you hold it? It's a few seconds. You can see a little bit of steam, probably from con the conditioner in that. And oh wow! Look your, at that. And there's your textured part. So in this thing, I would just really want root lift so you don't i'm not going to go all the way down the strand just part way oh, okay so that's it so that's that um i'm going to take wow. that up and if i was really doing it i would spray it i would probably put some powder uh volumizer powder down at the root and now i'm going to do another section i'm going to do the same thing and it's like one two three four that could probably be a little bit Five, longer. Six. So you do about 10 seconds? Yes or no. It's all timing. All hair is different. Porosity, thickness, density, color, not color, damaged, virgin hair. Hmm. And let's try another one. Wow. Look at that. And if this is supposed to work like it should, when I comb all this back over and put the parted hair over this, I should get fuller on this side than on the right side. So, so you can already see it's like thicker on this so side. That's exactly what it's supposed to do. And that's what you want. Yeah? Some fullness. What do you think? Do you like your hair, dude? That's it. All right. And so that is the Dish Show Hair Crimper? Yep. Excellent. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel and check out our other awesome videos with mannequins.